All right, in this video, we're going to talk about doing uh, basic math in Microsoft Excel. This is going to be the first in this series of doing math formulas and functions in Microsoft Excel. I'll have uh, about six or seven videos that I'm going to make this week uh, on that topic. So let's start right away with the basics here. Uh, as you see over here, rule one, all mathematical formulas in Excel start with the equal sign. So let's do a simple example. If I say equals two plus three. All right, notice how the formula definitely starts with the equal sign. And when I hit the enter key, it's gonna give me the result. Uh, when I click on that cell, the formula is up here in the formula bar. So I can change the formula up there in the formula bar and the, and the cell is gonna show you the result of the formula, of course. So let's try that again. Um, equals 78 minus 35. And it's gonna give me the result, the result of 43 when I hit the enter key. Rule number two, you can type in a number or click on a cell that already has the number you want to use. So let's say I want to use the 43 in my formula. So I could do it one of two ways. I could say equals 43 plus 17. I can do it that way and I'll get 60. Or since the, the number 43 is already on my spreadsheet, I'm going to say equals and then click on that cell that has the 43 which happens to be B2 plus 17. Now here's why I do it that way. Notice how right now they have the same result, but look at this formula. This formula says equals B2 plus 17. That means use the number that's in cell B2. The reason that, that I'm doing it that way is let's say if, uh, if uh, B2 changes to uh, 74, because that changes, then A4 also changed because A4 has a formula that says equals B2 plus 17. So when B2 changes, A4 is also going to change. Okay. Uh, so that's, that's what rule two means. You can type in a number or click in a cell that already has a number you want to use. Now, rule three, Excel does this math using the mathematical order, order of operations, not just left to right. So let's try a longer formula now. Let's do equals five plus four times three. So if you take it left to right, then we'll take five plus four equals nine times three is going to be 27. Okay. So let's see what the Excel really gives us. It really gives us 17 because what happened was we took the, it did the four times three first, which is 12 plus the five, which is going to give us the 17. Uh, now, because it did it in the mathematical order of operations, the mathematical order of operations is down here. This is the actual order. So anything in parentheses is going to be first. Anything with exponents is going to be next. Exponents means uh, like two to the fourth power. If you look at this example over here, equals two up arrow four means two to the fourth power. So that's what I mean by exponents. Multiplication is next in the mathematical order. So here's an example of multiplication equals five times six, where the asterisk is the multiplication. Of course, that will give you 30. Division is next in the order. So here's an example of division equals 75 divided by five, where the slash is the division. It's going to give you 15. Uh, and then addition is next in the order. And then subtraction. So uh, it goes parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Now, there's actually a phrase that helps you remember the order. And this is something I learned a long time ago. And maybe you learned this as well, maybe back in algebra class, right? No, not algebra class. I'm just saying that's maybe where we learned this. Um, this is where I learned it. So think about the first letter of each of these words, P-E-M-D-A-S, right down the row there. And then the mnemonic or the phrase that pays is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Maybe, maybe you remember that from a long time ago. So it really helps you remember the order of operations. So when you have a longer calculation, um, it's not going to take them left to right. It's going to take them in the order of mathematical order of operations. So let's see this formula and how we can change it with the parentheses. I'm going to put a parentheses before the five. And I'll put a parentheses after four. So now, because of the mathematical order, it has to do the things in parentheses first. 
Therefore, it'll do the 5 plus 4 first, and then that's going to give us the 27, you see. You see the difference that the parentheses made? Before, it was doing the multiplication first because of the mathematical order. So I had 17. But now it's doing the arithmetic first because of the, um, because of the parentheses. Let's try another example like that. If I say equals 7 plus 5 divided by 15 minus 2 times 4. Now, I don't know what that's going to give us, uh, but I'll tell you how it's going to do the math. It'll do the division first. Then it'll come over and do the multiplication. Then it'll come over and do the addition. Then it'll come over and do the subtraction. So in this case, it gave me negative, uh, this is actually negative two thirds, okay? Basically is what it came out to. So let's make it have a different number now. I'm gonna come up here and uh, we'll do the addition first. Then we'll come over here and we'll do the, uh, the the subtraction. So I want the addition to happen first here, then the subtraction, then I want the 7 plus 5, that total to be divided by the 5 minus 2, and then uh, divide the whole, I mean multiply the whole thing by 4. And now you can see I have a different result. So you actually have control over the order because of the, um, because of the mathematical order and because of the parentheses. Now look at rule number 3. And this is kind of a good example of this. Your formula can be any combination of numbers, cell references, built-in functions, and mathematical operators, and, and it can be as long as or as complicated or as simple as you need to be. So that's a pretty good example. It's starting to be pretty complicated there. Uh, in another video this week in this series, we'll have uh, uh, we'll have some of the built-in functions. But let me give you one of the built-in functions that people use all the time. If I use uh, 23, 40, uh, 34, 45, 65, 42, if I were to add those up, we could say equals, right? All four to start with the equal sign. And then you can type in sum. And uh, now that's a built in function. And I'm going to show you where there's many, many more functions in the next couple of videos. But these functions will require parentheses. And now it's looking for a bunch of numbers to add up. So I'm just going to highlight these numbers over here. And then I'm going to close that uh, parentheses. So it says equals sum, open parentheses, C6, colon C10. By the way, you would read the colon as through. So it would say C6 through C10, close parentheses. And that'll add up those numbers. Let's take a look at that formula. Equals sum, open parentheses, C6 through C10, close parentheses. So if I change any of those numbers, I want to change the 23 to 67 and then watch the total at the bottom, it recalculates because that's how Excel does its math. If any of those cells in that formula are going to be, uh, change, the formula will recalculate. And that's why you do it that way. Uh, so we could do a sum like that. Now I'm going to delete that cell. In that case, I had just typed that in, right? But here is really a quicker way to do a sum, especially of a column or a row of numbers. This is called an auto sum. Follow my mouse. First of all, you're going to click on the cell where you want the sum to appear, and then you're going to pick on the home menu, and then you're going to come way over here, and you're looking for this one that says auto sum. That's exactly what it's going to do for you. If I pick on the auto sum, usually it guesses properly what you want to add up, and in this case it did. See how I put the same exact formula that I had typed in, equals sum, open parentheses, C6 through C11 this time, close parentheses, which is fine. So in that case, you can type in the sum formula, or you can use the auto sum uh, just like that. And it's going to give you the same kind of result. So let's uh, let's try a, a different formula. I can say equals this plus this number plus this number minus this number times five. So this is a combination of using um, the cell references and then just a normal number. Now let's say I want one of the additions to happen first. So therefore I'm gonna click on the formula and then put in the parentheses where I want things to happen first, you see? And that, that follow, follows along with the mathematical order of operations. 
where let's see what happens if I didn't have the parentheses. I'm just going to go back and change the formula up here on the formula bar. Okay, so you can see that sometimes the form the parentheses make a difference, but that's how you have control over what's going to happen first. You can use your parentheses to give things a priority. Uh, so here's the four rules for Excel formulas. All formulas start with an equal sign. You can see that's going to be the case on, on, on all of the cells that actually have a formula. Rule two, you can type in a number or click on a cell that already has a number you want to use. So in this case, uh, if we say equals this equals A2 plus B2, that's what we mean by the cell references. So uh, now you can either point to those cells with, uh, and click on them or you can point to them with your keyboard arrows like that, or you can just type in the cell reference, but that's what rule two means. And you can see how that's gonna work. Rule three, Excel does this math using the mathematical order of operation. So on a longer calculation like this, if I didn't have the parentheses here, it would have done the, the multiplication first because that's the mathematical order. But by using the parentheses, I'm telling it to do the addition first because notice how the parentheses, anything in parentheses is going to happen first because of the mathematical order. Uh, so that's rule three. And then rule four, your formula can be any combination of numbers, cell references, built-in functions, and mathematical operators. And it can be as long and compli complicated or as simple as you need to be, like this one over here, or this one over here has um, the parentheses, plus it has cell references, plus it has numbers, and it has other mathematical operators. So in that case, it's going to do the thing in parentheses first. Then it'll actually come over and do the multiplication, then the addition, then the subtraction. And you can see it has combinations of cell references and numbers. So that would be a good example of rule number four. And this should start to give you uh, an idea of how to do basic math in Microsoft Excel. Uh, so we'll look, look for more videos uh, on this topic uh, coming out this week.